Hi, Karen Ford here. I want to talk to you today, five minutes, faith for finances in five. Today, I want to talk about goals. Uh oh, now some people might be thinking, goals, what does that have to do with money? Well, it has everything to do with money. Did you know that in the Bible, there are examples that goals were being set? In Proverbs uh, 21, it says, the plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance. That's a goal. In Philippians, uh, we're, you know, we press on towards the prize. That's a goal. So when it comes to money, we need to set goals and we need to write them down because if we don't write them down, they're not real. Some people have said, well, I've got goals in my head. No, you need to write those down. Here's some things to, uh, really important to look at. I'm going to give you an acrostic. SMART, S-M-A-R-T. Goals need to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time. Let's look at each one of those. They need to be specific. In other words, if your goal is to retire at the age of 55 or whatever at age, whatever age you decide you're going to retire, then that's a specific goal. It needs to be specific. Uh, it shouldn't. You shouldn't wing it and say, "Well, I want to be out of debt," you know, someday. No, that's not something that you're going to try to attain. We need to be very specific. I'm going to be out of debt in three years or put something on there. It needs to be specific and write down how much debt it is. My goal is to be out of, you know, $75,000 of debt by such and such a date. It needs to be very specific or I want to save up for a vacation next summer uh, I want to go to Jamaica next summer. This is how much it's going to cost. And then you know how much you need to save each month towards that specific goal. So that's number one, specific. Number two, it needs to be measurable. And we kind of touched base on that a moment ago. It needs to be measurable in the sense that if I want to go to Jamaica next summer on June the 20th, then that's a measurable goal. Or I want to be out of this amount of debt by this date. That's measurable. It needs to be measurable so that you have something to shoot for, to attain. That brings us to the A in the acrostic SMART. It needs to be attainable. You know, sometimes Christians can be so faith-based, but it's almost crossing the line. In other words, let's say you have $50,000 of credit card debt and your, you know, your monthly income, total income is $3,000 a month. And you say, well, I'm going to be out of this $50,000 credit card debt in two months. That's probably not going to happen unless grandma leaves you some money. It needs to be realistic. It needs to be attainable. If your monthly income take home pay is $3,000 a month and you have $50,000 credit card debt, then I would recommend that you call each credit card company and let them know that you're not going to avoid them, that yes, they deserve their money. See, that that's integrity and character. We don't want to ignore them because that's the debt that we created. We took the credit card. We charged the credit card. We need to pay the credit card company. What? Yes, we need to pay the credit card company. If you had a business and somebody owed you money, would you want them to pay it? That's integrity. Let's not try to avoid or uh, ignore the debts that we have accrued. We need to take responsibility. See, that that's maturity, is taking responsibility for our actions, taking responsibility for the debt that we've accrued. Okay, so attainable. Uh, $50,000 credit card debt, this is you, uh, and you make... Three, you take home $3,000 a month. Then you can set the goal. My goal is to pay off that $50,000 credit card debt in five years. I'm going to work with these credit card companies and I'm going to show that I have integrity and character. I need to pay them because I made the debt. Yes. So don't avoid them. Don't ignore them. That's character. That's integrity. You made the debt. You need to pay it.
Sorry, that's the way it is. Let's not try to avoid it because we're a Christian. Number four, being realistic. We need to be realistic with our debts. We're not going to pay off $50,000 of credit card debt tomorrow, right? Unless grandma gives us the money or something. But let's not borrow the money to get out of credit card debt uh, from grandma and then not pay her back. It, the goals need to be realistic. Okay, so, so far, they need to be specific. The goals need to be measurable. They need to be attainable. They need to be realistic. And they need to have a time attached to them. All right. I have this amount of debt. And my goal is to have it by such and such a date. This paid off by such and such a date. That's realistic. That's time. Need to write the goals down because if they're not written down, they're not real. You're not going to do them. It's a biblical principle. It tells us in Habakkuk or Habakkuk, however you want to pronounce it, <laughs> that we need to write the vision that they may run that read it. We can't run unless we can't run towards the goal unless we see the goal right? Runners see the goal. They see the little strip that they're going to run through, right? We need to set the goal so that we can attain it. We need to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time. Follow me here, Karen for KBF Money Managing for five minutes, Faith for Finances. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this today. Let me hear your comments, like it, share it, so that we can get the word out on how to get rid of debt and build wealth. Thank you.